Are Jade Warrior crossbowmen any good? That's an interesting question. We know what they're not. They're not melee troops. They're not peasant archers. They're not dwarf quarrelers. So what is their niche? Let's find out. Please like, subscribe, comment, and consider donating to my coffee page. Coffee is good. Coffee is life. Here we get 90 models with 6,210 hit points on Ultra, with a nice flat 80 armor on every model. Leadership is 54, speed is 30, melee attack is 16, and so is melee defense, with attack interval of 4.3. Why am I reading this out? Because I want you to know how bad they are at brawling with anything but other archer units. Weapon strength is 24, 21 base versus 3 armor piercing, which is really, really heavily focused on base damage. Charge bonus is 6. Mass is merely 100. Ammunition is 22. I see a trend. And range is 160. Remember me talking about how Iron Hell Gunners need to work in a team and to mop up damaged units? Well, these crossbows sending ranged damage up to 160 meters definitely forms part of that. Missile damage is 18, inflicting 18 base damage and 6 armor piercing, but reload time is 13, which is why the strength number seems weaker. Calibration area is 5.1, so beyond this calibration distance of 120, it's going to be pretty inaccurate. But, oh well. Those missile stats are stolen wholesale from Empire Crossbowmen, by the way. Yin Harmony improves reload speed, leadership, and running speed, but here's the kick. They actually do get defensive stance just by staying in one position, so they'll soften the blow of anything crashing into them like Centigors or Chaos Chariots. Um, not that you want those things crashing into them, but it'll help a little? There's a reason you keep Long Spearmen around. The Redline skills give you usual buffs to missile strength, range, and for hardcore vets, missile resistance and a little more missile strength and reload time help. The rest comes down to the tech tree, and active abilities and so on. Aside from general minor improvements, Improved Winches is notable for adding plus 5% range and plus 3 armor piercing missile damage to this unit and other crossbow units. So each missile strike will do 18 base and 9 AP now. That's actually a lot more armor piercing from an attack that isn't supposed to be quote unquote armor piercing. What was the cost again? Oh yeah, Jade Warrior Crossbowmen cost 600 to recruit default and 150 to upkeep. That's 50% more than Peasant Archers and slightly more than Iron Hail Gunners. So I think it's safe to say that they're pretty cost efficient for a good journalist unit. The only real knock is that they aren't the units that follow. Take care, and have fun turning War Hydras into pincushions. You know you want to.